Now, one of the biggest issues with the TiVo Stream 4K, or really any of these devices running the official Android TV operating system, is the default launcher. We can see it has a, a very basic layout. You really can't do much in terms of customization. Yes, you can move these things around, but other than that, there's not really much else you can do. Of course, you can't change the background, and things like using Android widgets are more or less a dream. Now imagine on your Android TV device, and in my case, the TiVo Stream 4K, the next time you press the home key. And just look at that, guys. We have a fantastic looking launcher, super fast, super slick. We have widgets working at the top here. Here we can see I'm using a weather widget. Of course, we can choose any background that we like. Um, here we can organize our content into folders. Here's one I created for my utilities. And we can see the contents in there. And of course, as this is a custom launcher, you really can tweak it as much as you like. So in this video today, let me show you how you can update the default launcher on your TiVo Stream 4K or really any official Android TV device onto a custom launcher like this. On top of that, this process does not require any kind of typing to change the launcher. You only have to do a custom command if you want to use widgets, and I will be showing you all of that in the process. So how to change the default launcher, how to find and choose a custom background, and if you want to, how to also enable widgets. So make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials the latest fire stick android and android tv tips and tricks then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell it's a small click from you but it makes a big difference to me thank you okay so to start this process the first thing we need to do is enable network debugging on our device and the way we do that is if you go over to your settings go to device preferences click on about scroll down and where it says build number, you want to keep pressing the select button there for seven times. So let's do that now. And we can see in my case, because I've already done it, it just tells me the message that you are a developer. Once you see that message, you can go back up one and you'll see there's now a secret menu called developer options. Let's open that up, scroll down and just make sure this option for USB debugging is enabled. Once you've done that, you can now press the home key Let's now navigate to Downloader because we're going to make a connection to my website to download a couple of files. Now to get to my website, just type in the short address, which is http colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash tduk. That's me and the numbers 2019. Let's type that in and click on go. Now when you get to my website, you want to click on the hamburger menu and click on tutorials and you'll see the latest tutorial in the list will be how to update the default launcher on the TiVo Stream 4K. But as previously mentioned, you can follow this process on any Android TV device or even the 4K Fire Stick or the second generation Fire TV Cube. Okay, let's open up the latest tutorial and here it is. Now, the great thing about this process is, is if you just want to change the default launcher onto the Wolf launcher or onto a custom launcher, it doesn't actually require any kind of typing or you know running any commands. Literally, we're going to download three things and we're pretty much good to go. The only time you need to type in a command is if you want to enable widgets. Okay, so here we can see we have the FTV LaunchX application and all credit to Eric for that. And we have the Hopper application, which will give it the correct permissions. And then down here, we have the custom launcher. Okay, let's get the first file. Let's click on that. So we have FTV launch X, scroll down and click on the green download button. So that's the first thing we've downloaded today. Let's click on install. Let's click on done. Okay, that's now installed. Let's press the back button. Let's now get the helper application. And again, this application is used to give your FTV launch application the correct permissions it needs to change your default launcher. Let's scroll down. And again, let's click on the green download button. So that's two things we've downloaded so far. Let's click on install. Let's click on done and press the back button on the remote. And lastly, let's now download our custom launcher. So in this demonstration, I'm going to use the Wolf launcher, which has been customized for the TiVo, but really you can use any launcher that you like. Let's click on this thing here. Let's scroll down and click on the green download button. So that's three things we've downloaded and installed so far. Let's click on install. Okay, that's now all done. Now you can download any wallpaper that you like and I have covered this in a previous video, but essentially you just wanna to go to google.com using Downloader and then just type in 1080p wallpapers, any wallpaper that you like, you can download that and that will then automatically save to your downloader folder, which you can then access from the custom launcher. But in this demonstration, let's just use one of these wallpapers here. Let's go for this one over here. There's the wallpaper and let's click on download. Click on this button here and that's now downloading to the downloader folder. 
Okay, that's now all done. Let's click on done. Now, if you do want to enable widgets, you will have to use remote ADB shell to type in one command. I already have that installed on my machine, but if you need to install it, you can click on this link here and then install that. So once you've installed all of those applications, let's now press the home key. Okay, so now those applications are installed. If you go over to the right, click on plus. Okay, so here is the launch X application, which will allow you to change your launcher. This application here will set the permissions for us. So let's just add this one first. Let's now also add in launch X. And here they both are. So the only thing we need to do now is open up the helper application, which will then configure the permissions for us. So let's do that now. Let's open that up for the first time. Here we go. So you must see this prompt. If you don't see this prompt, you need to switch off your USB debugging and turn it back on. But in our example, we can click on always allow and click on OK. And just like that, that then launches launch X for us and all of those permissions have been correctly set. Let's click on this thing here. And this is now asking you the next time you press the home key, which application do you want to use? Or in our example, which launcher do you want to use? So I can now scroll down. So for example, some of you may want to use the key application as your default launcher. But in our example, we're going to use the wolf launcher. Let's click on that. And now the moment of truth. Let me now press the home button. Is that going to work first time? And there we are, guys. So do give a thumbs up for that because that really is just the easiest way you can change the default launcher on your official Android TV devices. Okay, so here is the launcher. Now, of course, I've already customized it a bit, but let me just show you some of those options that you can choose. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is how do you change the default wallpaper? Well, if you go to the top here and press and hold, we then see this menu. Here you want to go to the launcher settings and click on wallpaper. Make sure this option is enabled because it is actually disabled by default. So turn this option on first, then click on select wallpaper. And we now see our internal storage. Let's click on that. And as I mentioned before, anything that you download with downloader appears in the downloader folder. Here it is. And in our example, we downloaded this wallpaper here. Let's click on that. Give that a second and that should then refresh and apply that to your launcher and we can see it's done exactly that. So very easy to change your wallpaper. And as I mentioned before, you can just use a download application to find any wallpaper that you like. Okay, that's the first thing. The next thing you may want to do is to create some structure to your home screen. So here we can see, for example, I've just got all of my applications. But if you want to create a separate section for maybe your games or maybe for your other applications, you can do that. So once again, let's go to the top, press and hold here, select launcher settings. We can now go to sections manage sections and we can see by default we have the widgets and then applications let's now click on add section i'm now going to add in my game so let's just type that in let's click on apply let's go down and click on close now if we go back here again we can now see we have a game section so now for example i can go to this emulator over here press and hold and select the option move to section i'll move it to games Let's also do that for this Rally Fury. So press and hold, move to section, select games. And lastly, let's also do Moonlight Game Streaming. Press and hold, move to section and select games. So just like that, we've now created a, a new section for games. And of course you can create as many sections as you like, and you can also change the order as you wish. The other thing you can do is if you go at the top here, click on launcher settings, click on sections, so for example, if we go to applications now, we can see we can choose to show the title or not. So there the title is off. I can turn that back on. You can also choose the number of columns. So we can see on my screen, I've got eight columns. But if I go to the left here, we can see I can actually make the columns a lot less, which in turn then makes the tiles a lot larger. So depending on the size of your screen or if you prefer to have larger tiles, you really can customize this exactly how you like it. Okay, so we've changed our wallpaper, we've changed our sections. Okay, so the last one, you want to now use widgets on your Android TV. How do you do that? Well, firstly, to get the widgets, I'm using Aptoy TV. And in my example, if I want to use the weather widget, I can just click on search, type in weather, let's click on that. And the one I'm using in my demonstration is this one here. So let's open that up. I mean, it's not really designed for a TV, but the widgets part do actually work okay. And we can see I've already installed it. Let's leave that as is. Let's press the home key. 
Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I am doing a special promotion for the first 50 members, whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. And we now need to give the permission to this launcher so it can actually enable the widgets. Now to do that, we do have to enter in one line via ADB. Now the easiest way to do that is if you open up Remote ADB Shell, here it is. And we're now going to make a connection to ourselves. So leave the IP address as is and click on connect. That's now connected. And it is just one line that you have to type in, but just to make things easier, I'm going to use the official Android TV remote application on my cell phone to copy and paste that command in. So let me do that now. Here's my cell phone. Let me bring up Android TV remote. Here's all of my Android TV devices. And let's hope we can find the TiVo stream. There it is. Let me now click on that. And we can see now, guys, I can now, anything I type in will be sent to the remote ADB shell. So what I need to do now is, is just go back to my website using my phone, open up the tutorial page, scroll down, and right near the bottom we'll see, to enable widgets, you need to copy and paste or use one command. Let's keep scrolling down, and there it is, guys. So it's app, widget, grant bind, and then the rest of the command there. So let's press and hold that. Let's now scroll to the right and it should end with user zero. Let's keep going to the right. And there it is. So now we've copied the command there. I can now click on copy. And as I mentioned before, guys, it is just one line. So if you want to, or if maybe if you've got like a USB or Bluetooth keyboard, you can just type this out. But to make it as easy as possible, I'm just gonna do copy and paste. So let's click on copy. That line's now copied. Let's now go back to the Android TV remote. Let's now press and hold at the top and select paste. And there's a line pasted there. I can now press enter on the remote. And we can see that line has gone in without any kind of errors. If you do get an error on this command, it means that you've actually got a typo. So do double check that. And again, this is probably why using copy and paste is the easiest method. Okay, now that the command has gone in, that means our launcher is now enabled for widgets. I can now press the home key. I can now go to the top here. I can press and hold. And this then shows us all of those applications that have got supported widgets. And these are the ones that come with weather. So uh, let's just look at this one over here. And we can see that's working absolutely fine. Now, if you want to tweak the widget, if you press and hold on that, click on scale contents. We can see now by pressing left or right, we can make it smaller or larger or just really however you like it. So that's how you enable widgets on this custom launcher. And let's go for about that size there. Click on that. And that's working absolutely fine. Okay, and lastly, how do you actually go back to your stock launcher? So the easiest way to do that, guys, is just to uninstall one application, which is the LaunchX application. So if I press and hold on that, we can see here we have the option to uninstall. Click on OK. And now watch what happens when I press the Home key. And just like that, we are now back to the default Android TV launcher. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking for ways on how we can customize our TOS Stream 4K or really any Android TV device. So I do hope you like this video. Do let me know and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.